Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, here with some Dracalia Lost news that is technically a day old, but, uh, I had some problems yesterday with Battletoads giving me, like, fucking 50 gig megabyte thingy. What am I talking about? Anyway, today's video, I'm just gonna be talking about what's coming up with the upcoming version update that's gonna be out, um, that's available for download around, what? Version 1.3 will be available for download around 8 p.m. August 26th and will become automatic on the 27th. That's what I was trying to say, with failing terribly. So that's what today's video is going to be. I hope you like it. If you do, remember to leave a like, comment about how you're feeling about this version update. It's a very small version update, I think, but it's got some cool stuff in it that I wanted to at least talk about, because um, some of it was definitely foretold um, in some previous Dragalia Lost stuff, so... Uh, so first things first, let's get into it. To celebrate the update, everyone's getting a tenfold summon voucher, as is tradition. Um, update details. Multiple summon vouchers may be used at once. Players will be able to use up to 10 summon vouchers at once when performing a single summon. This does not apply to 5 summon vouchers, adventurer, or 5 summon vouchers, dragon. Which, by the way, they also need to update this. They need to update the gacha for specifically the 5 summon adventurers, because they've had the same ones since the game launched, which is insane. We're almost at the two year mark. This needs to change. This gets updated. This has not. Um, using multiple summon vouchers at once in this manner is equivalent to performing a single summon multiple times. I'm afraid that the music is too loud. There we go. Um, now I'm afraid the music is not loud enough, man. There we go. I'm, what? Okay. What in the hell? Oops, I did um, I did a bad thing. It should be fine. Um, using multiple summon vouchers at once in the manner will be equivalent to performing a single summon multiple times. Therefore, the four or higher perk that applies to ten summons does not apply to a single summon, even if the summon ten summon vouchers are used at once. The five appearance rate of the next summon will increase in the same manner regardless of whether a single summon is performed one time or multiple times at once. Um, Example, suppose that you use three summon vouchers at once, perform a single summon, uh, when the two or more summons before increased five rates, message is displayed. If five does not appear in the first or second uh, summon, then the third single summon will be performed as if at the, at the increased five appearance rates. Appearance rates for the next summon will be reset at the same manner when a five or featured five appears, regardless of whether a single is performed one time or multiple times at once. Example. Suppose that you use three summon vouchers at once to perform a single summon while a five appearance rate is increased. If a five appears in the second single summon, then the third single summon will be performed at the default appearance rate. Uh, so this is basically... I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. What it's basically saying is that it's not like a multi. So if you use five and you get a... Um, uh, five in in appearance rate at two, then you get a... Um, Starting from the third single offward is going to be using the the a, a brand new appearance rate. Yeah, I don't know why I said that so dumb, but that is basically how it works, which is good because I actually want sing my one thing that I was afraid of was that they were going to make single time single tickets just multi summons, which is not what I want. I just want to be able to use a bunch of single tickets at once. The reason is, is to increase pity rate. Really, the only thing that most single summons are really used for is to increase pity. Um, sometimes they accidentally get you something good, uh, which is usually welcomed, uh, depending on the person. Um, but for the most part, they're just there to increase pity, so I don't need them to be like a multi-summon. I think actually, if, <laughs> if, you, if at that point, they may as well just let you exchange tickets for multi-tickets. I think that would be a interesting thing to do as well, but... I digress. Good change. I like that. It's going to be very helpful for my videos. Um, the auto repeat feature will be added to the Advanced Dragon Trials and the Agito Uprising beginning on 11 p.m. August 27, 2020. Uh, players may use the auto repeat feature in Advanced Dragon Trials and the Agito Uprising. Thank you. This has been so annoying because there are plenty of Advanced Dragon Trials and Agitos I would gladly grind if they just had auto. <laughs> it it's really dumb that it doesn't have auto. When using the auto repeat feature to clear quests that award a weekly bonus multiple times, players will be able to receive up to three weekly bonuses at once. There you go. So you will tell them how many times you want to use of your weekly bonuses if you want to use one or none. All right. 
The maximum amount of rupees that a player can possess will increase to 999999999999999. Descriptions for Agito weapon skills will be display the skill name. Note the above changes will take place on August 27th. Some issues fixed. When using a shared skill, the effect of Adventurer's Galaluka's Shining Slash skill. Uh, apply to Adventure Tiki's Divine Dragon skill Breath of Fog. Under certain conditions, the skill shift effect does not always activate for some skills. When the Adventurer Ayasu's Blade Formation skill is used in raid battles, the increased critical rate against bleeding enemies does not activate when attacking the parts of bleeding raid bosses. In Ayaka and Natoho's Wrath or Expert difficulty, when a Hayo Hotoko Beast form enters the break state under certain conditions, they do not always perform the motions for the break status or afflictions. Uh, also, when a skill they applies of multiple afflictions with a single attack hits uh, hits them in human form, only one of the afflictions are applied. When, wait, in Ayaka is a Wrath of Stunner Expert, when a skill that applies multiple... So they fix the following issues will be fixed in this version. So this will be fixed. I was trying to think of like whether or not that was changed. The 3D model for the adventurer Galaxy Galaxy does not display a weapon in her left hand and the view 3D button is tapped after tapping on her icon on the summon results screen after she is summoned. When the adventurer Gal Galaxy uses a skill in Eden mode, the voice for the unaltered skill plays even though her skills are altered in Eden mode. Cayenne's master voice adventure lines up play with the boss HP is low regarding the Cayenne's through an HP. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's everything coming up in this update. Really small update, um, but mainly because everyone knows that they're basically saving everything for two year, um, which God knows they're going to have to bring some pretty good updates with that one. Not to say that these are bad updates, but these are updates of things that are just like quality of life, not the big... Also this guy's... the final Aguido is also coming, by the way. I think same time. Um, what was I trying to say though? Yeah, so about this specific update is like a lot of the updates that are going to be coming to the game until the two year are only going to be fixing very minor things. Because my hope is... And I'm sure that's the hope of many other Dragalia Lost players, is that there will be big changes. Because leading up to the first year, if you weren't here before the Dragalia times, during the old times of Dragalia, believe it or not, at least if you ask me, Dragalia used to be a very bad game. It used to be a game that was super painful to play. Um, well, not an actual playing of it. The playing of it was fine. The problem was the summoning aspect of it. Um, the summoning aspect of it was absolutely horrible. Um... They needed to do some changes. Worm prints were in banners. Um, things worked very differently. I would actually say first uh, first year before the actual first year of Dragalia Lost is a completely different game from what we're currently experiencing. One that I was very hard to get a lot of people on board with. Um, but then they made the huge banner changes, which got a lot of people back in. Um, and was in general extremely good. And then they followed it up with Fire Emblem and a kick-ass event that also came with it. So I'm kind of hoping they do the same. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to talk later about some more stuff I would want to expect from it. But I also don't want to get my hopes up just because Corona stuff is happening. So I don't want to put too much... I don't want to end up like some JP Fate Grand Order players who just like can't understand that like, yeah, I'm sure you're kind of disappointed with what you're getting here. Because they basically hyped it up, or someone hyped it up for them, um, either on the JP side or something, that whatever was coming, everything was being put all hands on deck on that. So that meant it was going to be big and huge, and it really wasn't. It was just another day in Fake Grand Order. Perfectly fine update, I thought. Um, but pe especially during Corona season. But a lot of players took it like, oh no, that's not happening. And so, in general, I don't want to kind of put too much on Dragalia when the world is just such in a bad state. I don't know. I think it's unfair to a certain extent. And I also think it's perfectly fair if someone wants to stop playing the game as well and wants to wait. And to be fair, I think Dragalia out of all the gacha games is being handled the best, mainly because they do have kind of the backing of Nintendo in certain cases. 
Um, but I don't know. That's just currently some thoughts I had. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, especially if you made it this far. If you made, that, if you made it this far to just hear me talk, I know you, you real one. And you just show how real you are, you should leave a like on the, <laughs> on, the, on the video. Tell me how you feel as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night and have a good day. Peace out.